So it was the much anticipated first performance with Antonio Brown being a New England Patriot, something we were all looking forward to seeing. How will he do? Will he fit in there well or will he not be able to fit in there too well? I personally felt like he was going to be a big impact player for New England and at least through one game he definitely had an impact. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. Four receptions, 56 yards, and a touchdown. He also had a five-yard rush. You know, by his standards, that's almost on the low end as opposed to on the high end. This is a guy who definitely has had some games where he's gone off, and he has a lot of games where he goes off, honestly. But while his numbers maybe weren't necessarily jaw-dropping, he absolutely had some big plays, and so let's just jump into it, and we'll start things off with this play. One thing you'll actually notice about what Miami did throughout a lot of this game was they kind of tried to mix up some different coverages to try to fool Tom Brady to a degree, and it didn't really work out too well. For one thing, this is what New England did a lot last year, and it worked out pretty well. I mean, most notably against the Rams, mixing things up really fooled Jared Goff a lot, and he was often not able to make those post-snap reads. But Tom Brady is no Jared Goff. Tom Brady is, you know, he's one of the best, if not the best ever at post-snap reads, and so he's going to be able to make these pretty consistently. So one thing they did was a play like this, where it's going to be a cover three zone, and typically on a cover three zone, you expect the coverages to be like this. The two defensive backs who are each closest to the sideline will go to the left side of the screen to cover the corners of this field, and then of course the safety covers the middle of the field deep. That's the way that's you would think that would work. And then the four dolphins who are just in the area in the middle of the field, they're in charge of covering the middle of the field. Seems pretty simple. However, that is not what's going to happen. If you take a look at those two dolphins right there, they're not going to be chopping back in the coverage, and instead they're going to be rushing the pass. Passer. They're going to be rushing Brady on this one. And so, of course, you can't leave the middle of the field just completely uncovered because that would make for an easy throw. So what they're going to do is actually drop their two edge rushers back into coverage and they'll be in coverage here. And hopefully, yes, you are giving up something in the sense that you don't have the best personnel in each situation. You know, now you have guys who specialize in rushing the passer, dropping back into coverage and guys who specialize in dropping back into coverage, rushing the passer. But they trust that with doing this, it's kind of a game theory thing where now they can just fool the opposing offensive line, potentially get someone to go right through to Brady. And even if that doesn't work, you at least have a situation where nobody's going to be completely uncovered. And the reason why this is so important is because for AB, for Antonio Brown, he's running that route right there, right over the middle. And so he's actually the key guy to watch on this play. If Brady realizes what's going on quickly, then he is going to try to hit Brown because it, there will probably be a bigger opening there. And after this ball is snapped, if you take a look, I mean, AB is clearly open. There are two Dolphins in front of him, but neither one of them are really in a great situation where they could try to make this play. And again, for Brady, he's not going to miss these situations too often. For one thing, that's actually a route Brady was probably going to look to throw to before this ball was even snapped. So that kind of just worked out in that sense. He hits Antonio Brown, and Brown's able to get the ball inside the 40-yard line. I mean, that kind of at first looks like it was just kind of a bad play by the Dolphins, or at least a play that didn't work out, and also a good read by Brady. And that's because those are absolutely two fair things to say about that play. Brady made a great read, and also, the Dolphins, maybe that was a questionable decision, although I do understand the thought process behind it. But Brown also did his part on that one, you know? He got to that gap in coverage pretty quickly, he sat down in that gap in coverage, made the catch, and was able to pick up as many yards as possible, so I think that was a good play by Brown. This happened a couple of times where Brady and Brown were able to take advantage of it. Like on this play, it's also going to be cover three zone, but again, they're going to mix things up here. Those two Dolphins are going to be the key guys to watch here, because typically they would each just cover the zone that they're kind of circled in right now. The Dolphin on the top half of the screen would just take a few steps down and cover the zone that's on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And then a Dolphin who I have circled who's closer to the middle of the screen, well then he would simply just cover the zone that he's currently in. But again, Miami's going to mix things up here, and they're actually going to flip that, where they're going to cover the other zone that you expect them to cover, which again, could potentially fool Brady. But also the downside of this is now it's going to take them a little bit longer to get in position, and that's again key because Brown's running that route right there, which is going to go essentially right where Dolphin would have to go to. The idea behind this is actually to kind of try to fool Brady here, get Brady excited, think that this is maybe cover four zone and see that Brown's wide open. But with a safety coming in, he could potentially jump the route and get a pick six on this play potentially. If it works out, that's the way it should happen. But after this ball is snapped, one thing you'll notice is that Brown got to his spot very quickly. I also thought that the safety, who is now former Miami Dolphin, Minka Fitzpatrick, he could have done a better job of breaking in and making that play, I think. But at the same time, Brown got there so quickly, it was kind of tough for him to do it, and then he also makes a good catch on the sideline, and they're able to pick up a first down out of it. I know a lot of people are probably feeling like, well, wait a second, you know, these aren't necessarily the highlight reel grabs that we've kind of become used to seeing from Antonio Brown, but 
you know, he's probably not going to have a lot of those with the Patriots. I mean, that's not really their system. The Pittsburgh Steelers had a system that was very much go along constantly. Let's throw the ball down the field. Let's throw the ball a lot and get our receivers a lot of targets. That is not this New England system. This New England system, they like to run the ball. They like short passes. But you know what? Brown is still very effective in this kind of system, even though it's a very different system. I think there's a good chance he's not going to have as good of numbers as he did when he was with the Steelers, just simply because he won't have as many targets and he won't have the ball get thrown to him as much down the field. But that doesn't mean that he won't still be just as valuable with the New England Patriots offense, even if he doesn't have maybe as many total yards. There's also this play where it's going to be a cover three zone, and that's going to be Brown's route, just a simple curl route, which actually isn't a terrible route, even though it looks like it's maybe not the best route. Yes, it's getting right into the middle of somebody's zone, but at the same time, it's a curl route, so it's kind of turning into one-on-one -on -one coverage, and a curl route is a way you can beat one-on-one -on -one coverage. So, maybe not the best route against the situation, but not a disastrous one either. However, one thing worth noting is that Brown is going to actually get double teamed here, where the safety in charge of covering the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, who's currently playing press on Brown, he's actually going to make sure he keeps an extra eye on Brown, doesn't allow Brown to just have a one-on-one -on -one matchup, because he knows Brown can kind of eat one-on-one -on -one matchups alive. But after this ball is snapped, if you take a look Brown's going to cut very well. I mean, this is kind of what, just what makes him so good. You know he can beat you over the top, so you don't want to allow him to do that and potentially give up a touchdown. But at the same time, he can cut so well that he can cut back in, and now he's easily open despite having a lot of extra attention. I mean, obviously, the two Dolphins who already had an eye on him are going to be paying him extra attention, but even the single safety who is deep, he's even creeped over to the bottom half of the screen and keeping an extra eye on Antonio Brown. He's taking up a lot of attention, but even with that, he's able to make the grab and get the ball to the 10-yard line, even with taking up that extra attention. That's the value Antonio Brown brings to a football team. I mean, love him or hate him, and for most people, it's not going to be love him, he can definitely bring some value to a team. And while I said he didn't necessarily have a ton of highlight real level plays, he did have one. I mean, this is the touchdown that I alluded to earlier, and here's how it worked. New England has an empty backfield here, and so what Miami is going to do is they probably initially called a cover one hole, which is similar to the coverage you now see on your screen, except just with one linebacker in the middle of the field. But since there's an empty backfield, they're going to only go with a three-man rush, because they feel like they can still generate pressure with a three-man rush against only five offensive linemen. And now this gives them an extra man in coverage. A lot of teams will do that. A lot of teams, when they see an empty backfield, field will just have it in their system that when you see an empty backfield an extra defensive lineman just drops back in the coverage so that's probably what they're doing here or it was just the design call but I would bet the former not the latter but either way this is good news for New England because they're gonna be running that concept right there in the top half of the screen which is a great way to beat this type of coverage Brown is the number two receiver who's gonna be running up to the top half of the screen up to you know try to get into the end zone for a touchdown and now it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the safety in the middle of the field so typically this would just be a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the end zone that is what's going to happen. The safety is going to stay to the middle of the field. And if you look at Antonio Brown, he's, well, I mean, he's not open, right? Like, there's not really much separation here. But Brady is going to say, hey, you know what? I have an all-pro receiver. I'm going to throw it his direction and see what happens. And for good reason, he's able to make a spectacular catch and make a touchdown out of it. I mean, again, that's just having faith in your receiver. And for good reason, Antonio Brown is clearly a guy, at least on the field, you can definitely have a lot of faith in. I do think that a lot of people are kind of rooting for Antonio Brown to fail, and you know, understandably so. I get it. I'm not going to blame people for feeling that way. But what I will say is this, I don't think he's going to be the guy who destroys the Patriots from within. I don't see that happening. Now, there's a chance he does get suspended. That definitely is an option on the table. But as long as that doesn't happen, I do think Antonio Brown will be a positive impact for the New England Patriots. Although, if you are one of those people that's rooting for Antonio Brown to fail, there is some optimism to be had. Honestly, it was not a perfect situation for Antonio Brown or for the New England Patriots offense. There were some, a little bit of missteps, which honestly is something you would expect with a receiver playing in their first game in a new system when you didn't even have a pre season that's good adjusted to that system. I mean, he had only been on the Patriots for a short time, so he only had a short time to learn the playbook. Apparently, Antonio Brown is a very hardworking guy. I'm sure he got some sense of it, but there definitely was some growing pains in his first game with Tom Brady. Like on this one, it's going to be the, actually the exact same situation as his touchdown, where it's going to be the same type of coverage and the same type of concept on the top half of the screen. This time, Brown's lined up on Brady's right, but other than that, same exact idea. And after this ball is snapped, again, similar situation. Safety stays in the middle of the field. He's actually breaking up a little bit higher this time, but also Brown, you know, he's not really open. It's the same situation as last time. Brady's just going to give him a chance, see if something can happen. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to throw it in that direction, but he kind of misses the throw a little bit and Brown really doesn't have a chance. Now, I think actually a degree of this was intentional by Brady. I think Brady wanted to put it into a position where worst case scenario, it's not still not getting intercepted. It'll either be an incomplete pass or a catch for a touchdown. 
But I think, you know, with just the fact that he's not used to playing with Antonio Brown, he doesn't exactly know Brown's limitations and maybe threw it a little bit farther than he absolutely had to. It's also possible he just missed the throw, which of course happens even to the great ones like Tom Brady. But I do think that over time, they will gain that chemistry and actually be able to convert on those plays more frequently than they were able to, you know, with that one. There was also this one where it's going to be a cover one hole this time. So similar to that last play I showed you, but just only with one defender who's covering the middle of the field. And for Antonio Brown, it's pretty simple. Slant route over the middle and hopefully Brady can hit you very quickly. You can make the catch and gain some positive yards. Obviously, you can't wait too long because there are dolphins in the middle of the field. But if Brady makes this throw quickly, it can be a good way to gain some positive yards. However, you're going to see Brown and Brady just not on the same page here. It looked like Brown cut late and they, they just weren't on the same page. And also this time clearly it wasn't a missed throw because they didn't time it well. And again Brady's pretty good at timing these throws. I don't think he just made that mistake. I think this is a miscommunication thing more than anything. So the two options are either Brady missed time to play or Antonio Brown ran the wrong route. And out of those two options which one do you think it probably was? I'm gonna bet Antonio Brown ran the wrong route. The reason why I say this is because, well, this is the system Brady has been in his entire career pretty much, and Antonio Brown has been in it for just a couple of weeks. They just didn't have the timing quite right, looked like Brady thought he was going to turn his head around about a yard shorter, Brown did not realize that, which resulted in the pass going incomplete. So if you are someone who hates the Patriots, well that might be good news, you know? They're not quite a perfect fit just yet, they have some growing pains. But unfortunately for the Patriots haters, and fortunately for the Patriots fans, I honestly wouldn't be too worried about that if I was the New England Patriots. I think we knew going in there's going to be some growing pains. It always takes some time for a new player to learn a new system. That's just the way football works. But hey, that's just my opinion. So, as always, thanks for watching.